Hello my crystalliers and welcome to 1080 Degrees Avalanche. This game is probably top 5 favorite GameCube games for me. I actually really really love this game a lot. And uh, let's see, I'll, I'll do a hard one because the novice ones are actually very easy. Um, I unlocked uh, all the characters I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I unlocked all the characters. You can unlock uh, a different costume and then a different like persona all together for each character. She's a moose. This is like because literally a ghost pirate. She's probably one of my favorite characters. This guy's awesome. He's on actually he's actually on the cover of the box I think. Um, but uh, on, also on the cover of the box he has a snowboard that has a game a, a GameCube like print on it. But uh, he doesn't own a board that has GameCube uh, print on it. So I always thought that was weird. Also, you can pick your uh, your music back here. I don't even remember most of these actually. I don't know. But there's like a recommended one that just happens. I'll keep it on the whatever good times is. That's one. Powder life, or I mean not powder. <laughs> powder threat. Ricky Winterborn. Ricky Winterborn. Ricky Winterborn. I've never played the uh, N64 version of this game actually. Um. Never found a. Oh, I kind of. I don't remember how to play. Okay, cool. And then I do this. All right, L L is for crouching abilities, so you can go faster. And I always love these games, man. It's like I'm a big fan of snowboarding uh, games. Woo! And uh, this is one of my favorite snowboarding games. There aren't many snowboarding games, so especially that, especially for the GameCube that I know of. I, have, I don't know SSX Tricky, I guess. Is probably one of them, but there aren't. There's such a small amount of snowboarding games that that makes me love this game even more. Excuse me, sir. Oh yeah. And uh, I always like the music too. And um, actually, the thing that made me, uh, yo, uh, the, main, the thing that made me uh, play and want this game so much, I always do this. <laughs> I always do that because like when you get when you get a bunch of. Uh, when you get your power meter up like that, um, it uh, it makes you all glowy, and that what that means is uh, if you crash, you do a little uh, a barrel roll, and it saves you, and it doesn't kill your momentum as much. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, what made me want this uh, game so much and, and want me to buy it? Um, a long time ago, I had a demo disc, a GameCube demo disc, and on the demo disc. When you're younger and you have a demo disc, it's like having a bunch of games for free and you play them forever and ever and you play those things like to death and you learn the level that's on that like demo disc. Like whatever the game is, you learn the level by just playing it a hundred times over. So on the demo disc, it would have Sonic Heroes, it would have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game where it's just like a beat em up. Uh, it would have... Uh, what else did it have? Well the point is it had... Uh, 1080 degrees avalanche and I would always watch the trailer that it had that it came with and I would play uh, I th actually I think um, I think on the demo disc it only had the trailer yeah okay yeah, okay that one's always a tricky one because you don't know what you're gonna get oh, oh dang it all right go 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 Vasquez is on the way but yeah I think there was only a trailer on the demo disc I don't think there was even a playable section but you, you best believe I played the crap out of the Sonic Heroes one and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one. There's, I, I'm pretty sure there's other games on it, but I'm not really remembering them. I almost want to say there's like a Tony Hawk one. Oh no no! I screwed up the, uh, I screwed it up. I also just like doing this even though, even if I don't have the special powers, I just slam dunk myself into the finish line. But yeah, man, those are that demo disc. It came with my Double Dash uh, game, which I heavily regret. Uh, selling when I was, I don't know, 12 or 15 or whatever the heck age I was when I had that game. I, I heavily regret se selling all those games that I had, man. I had like Chibi Robo, and actually, I think Chibi Robo was like the last GameCube game I had on the console before I switched to like the Wii um, and, the, and the PS3. And uh, yeah, I remember, well, I mean, I don't really remember the day or anything when I, when I sold it or something. But I remember that I did sell it, and I, nowadays I regret it so much because I I always loved I loved that game a lot, Chibi Robo, and uh, it's so hard to find a copy that isn't like sixty dollars or something on eBay. 
So that's why I don't even have it nowadays. But um, the and the newest uh, the newest uh, Chibi Robo game that came out, I actually wasn't very interested in it, mostly because it wasn't a uh, quote unquote traditional uh, Chibi Robo game. It was very much just a platformer with Chibi Robo's like IP on it. Um, I did think the uh, Amiibo was awesome though. The Amiibo was really cool. I almost bought it by itself. Um, I do I do want to buy the uh, the Chibi, the new Chibi Robo game just to support the brand name of Chibi Robo because it'd be pretty cool if Nintendo did more of that. Uh, actually, I don't I don't know if it's a direct Nintendo thing, but uh, it's always on Nintendo console. So oh gosh, what am I doing? Okay, cool. I'm alright. I'm fine. But yeah, I always wanted a cheap my Chibi Robo back. I regretted that one pretty hard. But uh, Double Dash, yeah, my Double Dash came with that demo disc, and uh, I think uh, I think I remember my Metroid Prime came with a uh, demo disc. Unfortunately, my Metroid Prime also left us, left my collection. I'm almost talking about them if they passed away or if they died. Right but no, uh, it's just, it's just that, especially since nowadays um, I'm trying to be like a collector, um, mostly focusing on GameCube games. Uh, I, uh, I feel very bad selling these when I was a kid. It's so dumb. And, but it's like back then it was the only way I could ever hope to get money so I can get the new games that I want. So. I would literally take like five games to GameStop and beg my mom to get the new game and I would like scour the internet or something and like try to get coupons, check the mail and stuff. Oh gosh, excuse me dears, yeah. uh, and that's the only way I would be able to fund them. Like oh, I remember in, uh, in middle school something else I would do, I would literally buy like a pack of uh, Warheads, the candy, the sour candies. I would buy a pack of uh, Warheads, and I don't know, for like uh, a bag of those, like uh, three dollars. I'm assuming, uh, probably not that much, but let's just say three dollars. And then I would sell each individual Warhead that came inside to uh, my friends and uh, just random kids from uh, from school for a quarter each. So then I would have like a little bit of uh, money for the games that I oh so dearly want. I think Tweet is probably my, my favorite to do actually. It just looks really cool. Check that out. Woo! Oh gosh! I almost flew right into the eagle. This game is uh I love this game a lot. I uh I every so often I just pop it in and play and I just have fun. I I also wanted to play um I also wanted to play the uh, Snow White not Snow White. <laughs> Snow White Snow White Snowboarding Extreme Disney Edition. Um, I wanted to play uh, Sean White snowboarding. I never did though, but I heard I heard that it wasn't that great. But I feel like since I have a since I personally really just enjoy snowboarding games a lot, just in general, I feel like maybe it would appeal more to me, anyways, because of that. Okay, listen up. Secret mission: snowboarding. Oh yeah, good luck. I didn't want to go. Uh, the reason I went to the, with the uh, the hard challenge and not the easy challenge, the novice challenge, is because literally, especially for me, because like I've played this game since I was a child, uh, the novice challenge is far too easy and wouldn't be very uh, exciting to watch. I don't think. Like there's just a lot of uh, just flat planes and straightaways. So this is actually uh, probably my favorite uh, extreme course. This course that I'm doing right now. I don't know if they're called extreme courses, but there's just, I just call, I call them that. Whoa, okay. What, dude? Come on, you were stable. Uh, I've actually never taken this specific route that I'm taking right now for this course. I'm going to one off a weird way there. But let's see what goes on here. Okay. I didn't see that as a gap. Wow, for some reason I'm really sucking at this. <laughs> like, I never, I've never had uh, this much problem with this specific course because I've always loved it. And every time I would play it. Oh, I missed the cool... I missed the cool one. Oh wait, this is the cool part. What am I doing? Why am I terrible right now? Yeah, I love this part. Woo -hoo. Yeah, look at one of one. Oh, oh, rock slide. Actually, there's no avalanche on this uh, course. I don't think. I think it's just a rock slide. Oh no, the dreaded damage uh, indicator. This isn't Pokemon. Ooh. Uh, speaking of Pokemon, Pokemon week. Starts uh, tomorrow, actually, uh, when this video comes up. Okay. Wow. Okay, that was awesome. 
That went out. Uh, that went kind of well. Also, I have my glowy powers. Cool. So, uh, oh yeah, and um, I don't think I played it for the channel, but I, I always loved Snowboard Kids too on the N64. And my brother, uh, oh, here's the avalanche part. Here's the avalanche part. And my brother for uh, uh, this Christmas that passed got me both of the Snowboard Kids on the N64. And man, that was the best. I loved it. I don't think I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't record any, any Snowboard Kids, but expect that somewhere in the future because I love those games too. And I, I don't know, maybe my snowboarding, my snowboard games love came from that. 30 seconds? That's outrageous. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm walking on sunshine. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. That went well because I'm alive. That's the only reason. Whoa. Ah. Whoa. I actually, I actually did a backflip there. What the heck? That was awesome. Well. That does it for this episode. My name is Crystal Face. Uh, I definitely recommend this game if you haven't played it. This is freaking awesome. And uh, maybe I'll do a couple more of these. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one.